Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called the Winter Forest Low Poly Tomb Battle Arena Tower Defense Pack. Now, I have reviewed a couple of these uh, before from the same uh, creator, and uh, not too long ago I reviewed, I think, like a Dark Dungeon one, and that was actually my favorite at the time. However, honestly, I think I have a new favorite. So let's take a look at this one. This is a nice winter pack, and I love winter stuff. I love winter themes, snow, ice, I love all of that. And I like low poly as well, so combine the two together, this is a really, really nice asset package. Quality is just like all the others I've reviewed from this person. It is really nice. Low poly is always a unique style, I think, and it pulls it off really, really well here. I mean, just look at the boxes, yeah. It looks like textures are missing, but they're not. It's the whole snow effect, and it's really, really nice. And if I play the uh, actual scene now, we can see the snow falling. It's really, really nice. I really like it. One thing that does strike me as a bit peculiar, maybe you've spotted it already, is this. Fire and smoke while it's snowing. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if that would occur, but anyway, that's, you know, this is a game. This isn't real life. Uh, it's really, really nice, I have to say. Uh, Quantity-wise, there is loads here, as always, with these packages. There's just loads to deal with. And this just adds to the incredible amount of content from this person for you to create a mobile game, or even on PC if you wanted to, because you'd always add that little bit of post-processing just to make it look nice and glistening, really wintry, Christmassy kind of feel. So overall, the quality... Fantastic. Quantity, amazing. It's easy to use and it can be used not just for a tower defense game, but for many different types of game as well. Price, as of um, recording this little review, is free. Remember, prices do come up, they do come down, they change all the time, just depends on the creator. Package size is 2.6 meg, so it's obviously geared towards mobile gaming more than anything, but that doesn't mean to say that you can't use it for PC, like I said. Uh, extras, I, I don't really think you can count anything extra really because, you know, I'd say it all comes under quantity. It's all real nice to use and it's all here, everything you need to use. You could create different versions of this as well to make it seem like you've got different levels. And I particularly do like how this one is because of the whiteness to it. It's easy to actually define this and customize it just that little bit more than the others. Uh, folders all nice and neatly laid out. That's perfect. Obviously, we get the demo scene. It's incredibly useful for many different types of games, not just a tower defense. You could create a cool little Mario Party style game where each of the blocks is like one uh, area or one step and then you roll a dice and you've got to get the coins and all kind of stuff like that. That's actually a really good idea. I might actually try and prototype that. <laughs> do you know what? I think I might do that. Um, so yeah, it's obviously very versatile, like I say, customizable. You can change it however you want. And the little snow there is just an awesome added little effect. I really like this asset. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And do you know what? I know what you guys are. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, obviously I'd recommend this. Obviously I would. It's a really nice asset. And I've just quickly added that post-processing there. So if you were doing this for PC, you would obviously refine that just a little bit more take more time and you could make this look absolutely epic. I know you guys could. And I know you could because you've been following me for all this time. Anyway, yes, I'd recommend it, of course I would. So guys, have you used this asset in a game? What do you think of it? And uh, if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to check it out and maybe review it in one of these videos. Finally guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well and you can stay up to date with everything I've got on video game development on my channel because there's loads to see, loads to learn and loads to do and I upload regularly. Guys, thank you very much for watching.